Three, two, one. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. It is 5. 45 in the morning. I'm gonna turn around to the gym, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I put up last night before the kids wake up in case they just right before I get home. Look at this cute thing that Becca made us at preschool. They used doily, glued them on, and then painted over top and then peeled the doily off. So cute. I used to waste like a lot of money buying random little things from the dollar store. I kind of did again this year. But we have a tradition that we go out either the weekend before or the weekend after. But for our kids, we spend Valentine's night with them. We decided Valentine's Day in our family is the day for the family. Every year, instead of wasting tons of money on balloons and flowers and stuff like that, we buy them a movie and we get pizza and we let them have soda because we try not to let them have pop. So I made them this little basket. They each have some fuzzy socks, some ring pops, and this year we bought them the movie Smallfoot. We watched it a couple videos ago and my kids loved it. Some candy, bath bombs, some stuff for Palmer, and then sparkling cider, and root beer. Hopefully they'll like it. I'm gonna cover it up. If they come out while I'm gone, I still get to show them. Okay, and then I talked a couple vlogs ago about one of our other Valentine's Day traditions, which is the heart on the doors. So it started out as one heart for one little girl, and now I wanna show you what it turned into, and I'm gonna cry. You know that stingy feeling when you're holding back tears? Oh, as I was putting up the last hearts last night, I was like, my heart was bursting with joy and love and feeling so blessed. All because two people fell in love. Let me show you how cute this is. So if you didn't see the video where I talked about the hearts, every year I get those hearts from the dollar store and each night in February, we write something we love about the kids and stick them up. And they love reading them. It's just a good way to show the kids what things we love about them. So this year, Beckham was purple, Peyton was pink, and Palmer was red. Oh, I just love seeing the final product. I love those kids. Happy day of love. Hope that you feel loved. Remember, you are loved and you are worth it. Okay, now I'm just putting off going to the gym. Let's be honest. I wanted to hear and tell you what we have going on today. Chidi said he's making breakfast. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna have breakfast, get the kids off to school. I want to do, you know those pictures of the kids in their diapers with kissy marks all over them? I want to do that. So I'm gonna hear and do that to Palmer. Every year when I was growing up, my mom would make my dad a cheesecake for Valentine's Day. Every year we've been married, I've made JD a cheesecake. So I'm gonna do that today while he's gone at work as well. I realized not only am I supposed to be helping with the game at Peyton School, I'm supposed to bring the game. So I've gotta run some errands, print off a bingo, and get some treats to go on top of it. And then I'm helping with Peyton's class this afternoon. She's got gymnastics. And then we'll have a fun night here at home watching Smallfoot with the kids. So I'm really excited. Good morning. Happy Valentine's. So Michelle's at the gym. I'm gonna hurry and make some pancakes with pink dye in them. We're gonna make little hearts and she's gonna be super surprised because I've never done this before. So super excited. <gasps> Look who's awake. Happy Valentine's. Hey, will you be my Valentine? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You all back coming you? Yes. Are you gonna be Valentine's? Mom, Great idea. Because you always kiss. <laughs> we do always kiss, you're so, right. That comes right on top of you. Does that mean you kiss your brother? No. Ew. <laughs> pancakes, buttermilk pancake mix. Easiest way to make pancakes. Put it in here, add a little water, and voila. Hi. Hi. Mom's home. Mom's here? Uh-oh. Yeah. We gotta we gotta hurry. Good morning! Happy Valentine's! Look, your Valentine's here! Oh, Yay! Oh, he is so excited. He was so sad that he woke up and mom was not home. Killer socks, dude. So we got the water added, we got the mix in, Peyton's got the dye. You wanna dump it in? I said dump. How many drops should we do? Uh oh, sorry. Let's do one more. 
sorry. It's okay. Ah, right, good. Somebody is attached to his Valentine at the hip, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <gasps> what is it? Whoa. What did you guys just see? What? What? Whoa! I've been heart attacked. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at all these reasons that you two are loved. Whoa. Should we all go wake up Palmer together? Yeah. All right, our littlest Valentine. Palmer! Hi, Mom. Oh, good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Mom. Look at the balloon. Say thank you, sir. So dad is trying to Not make heart shaped pancakes. Like <laughs> but it, I would give you an A for effort. An A for effort. Do you want me to teach you how I do it? Yeah. Well that didn't turn out like I thought it would. <laughs> Dang it. That's, that's good effort. Okay, I, I see where you're coming from with the spoon. Dang it. You've done this before, haven't you? Well, it doesn't mean the first one's gonna turn out super great. All right. This is up way too hot. Yeah, that's so cute. Look how awesome you are. Nice job. Are you kidding me? Thanks. Mine's bigger. Mine's got a bigger heart. You do. You know, your heart might be deformed, but it's bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little deformed. It's got some arteries, not doing so hot. It's got had a lot of grease. This is yeah. yeah this is, that that's my unhealthy heart. It's a little deformed, but that one's mine, that little mini heart. That's my Mickey Mouse pancake slash heart pancake, because we're going to Disneyland in like two weeks. Yeah. So for today's morning scriptures, mm -hmm. and because it's Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. we're actually gonna read a scripture that Daddy absolutely loves. For Valentine's, God loves us too, right? Okay, so listen to this scripture. This is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So what does that mean? What do you think that means? I don't know. I know what me means. What? Me mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So it says, so God so loved the world. He loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. Who is God's only begotten son? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, very good. So he loved the world so much that he gave Jesus Christ and Jesus was crucified. On the cross. Yes, Jesus was crucified on the cross and that broke Heavenly Father's heart but he allowed it to happen because he loved us so much that he wanted us to return to him and have everlasting life. How cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So on this Valentine's Day, I want you to remember that God loved you so much that he allowed Jesus to die so that we could repent and so that we can be a forever family. Mm -hmm. And that feels like the greatest gift of all. All right, sweet girl. B. I love you. Okay, and I'll see you at your party soon. Yay! Love you. Love you. All right, cutie, are you ready to get kissed? You ready to get kissed? Just wait for it. What happened to Palmer? See, see that box all over. Box. She got kisses all over. Should we give you one of those kisses right there on your cheek? I can? Okay. Oh, let's see. Look. Look, buddy, can you see it? Oh, cute. Hi. <laughs>
Hi. Okay, so I have to leave here in exactly one hour from now. So I was planning on running and getting the bingo cards printed, picking up the pizza for dinner. <laughs> Just ignore that, okay? So I was planning on getting the bingo cards, grabbing the pizza, and then dropping the kids back off to JD so that I could run to Peyton's class. He's gonna come home for lunch, have a little late lunch, and be with the kids. So I come running out. Beckham's been a little bit sick. This is so distracting. Beckham's been a little bit sick, um, and I just found him asleep on my couch. And he never takes a nap. So now I have one hour to hurry and figure out something start to finish for Peyton's class party. In better news, I did just finish the cheesecake. So good. I'm gonna put his card right here and just wait for him to see it. Kind of secretly really excited. I think I have it. So I have these pink bags and I thought that I would do it somewhat educational and I would put something with a different sense that hopefully has to do with Valentine's Day in the bag. Okay, but now I'm realizing they really don't have to do with Valentine's Day, but I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> For C, I got a heart sticker and I put it in the bottom of the bag, but then I poured sprinkles over top of it. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is why I don't like have a big blog up on Pinterest because I am just strictly pulling this out of my hat, but it feels right. Okay, and for smell, I got some of Peyton's cotton candy body mist, sprayed it in there and dropped it in. So we have smell, taste, touch, hear, and see. Hopefully this will be fun and educational, right? And then I got fruit snacks for him. Oh my oh my How did you get this? This is uh, not good. Yeah! Seriously, you like going <laughs> Happy Valentine's! So now we're gonna do a little bit of opening of presents for Valentine's for the kids. They've been waiting to Wait. open this all day. Three, so ready, two, set, one. go! You guys are lucky. Oh, kisses. Oh, look at those socks. Those look so nice and soft. Happy Valentine's, guys. Hey, me too. I got it for you, too. I want a hug. I love you guys. Hey, I'm so thankful for you guys. Today is Valentine's Day. I am out and about doing stuff for Michelle. We're not really doing gifts this year because we're going to St. Thomas here soon. Just a little gift, just like I uh, got some Twizzlers. She loves chocolate licorice. I love chocolate licorice. Got her some uh, a nice little car, some Twizzlers, and some uh, chocolate covered pretzels, which she absolutely loves as well. Now I'm on my way to uh, a place called Fizz, and it's where we get, um, our specialty drinks, so they're soda. Anyway, so she absolutely loves that. She doesn't know I left work early. She thinks I'm still at work, so that's kind of fun. I'll actually beat her home. She's uh, probably just picking up the kids now from gymnastics. Welcome home! Shh, don't touch her, those are for mom. Here's mom's little setup we got for her. Maybe we can share some tonight in the movie, huh? Three, two, one. Okay, huh. welcome! Ooh, mom got welcome home! Mommy, you got your Valentine's! Hi. Thank you. Happy Valentine's! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? The kids' movie's over, kids are in bed, now it's mom and dad's turn. Little Pitch Perfect for the night. You excited for some Pitch Perfect? We haven't seen Pitch Perfect in like five years. I've been like 
craziness. Yeah, it's weird. And that's the end of our Valentine's night. Kids are in bed. We just watched Pitch Perfect. I loved her little gifts that I got her. Sure love my Valentine's. Hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Seriously, this is like the one time.